Well, Bill Goldman, we, I was just saying that we have never met before, no. but I have certainly followed your career for a long time because I've been around a long time. Because of uh, is. <laughs> but uh, anyway, um, one of the things that interested me in sort of boning up for this interview is a comment that you gave out that, now here you are, a two-time Oscar winner with a string of other hits as well. And you said that you care more about The Princess Bride than anything else you've ever written. It's true, I do. Why? Because the book was very important to me. It's a different kind of thing than I've ever written. It, um, it's of no interest to anybody but me, but the, I was blocked on the book, and then I got the idea of the movie and the book are both being told somebody's, a kid is sick and somebody's telling him a story. And I didn't have that idea when I started the book. And once I got that idea, I was free to jump all over the place and get to what the good parts, as I called it in the book, you know, get to the, what I thought was might be exciting. And it was just a very releasing experience for me as a writer, which I've never had before. And the same thing was true of the, of the movie. And I think the movie has been so well realized, which I would say to you, even if I thought it had not been well realized, but I really believe that it's a terrific movie. And I just am happy that it happened. It almost happened for years and years and years, and I thought it would never, I, find it, I got to the point where I thought it never would happen. And then it, when it finally didn't, I think the quality of it's as high as it is, I just couldn't be more delighted. And I know that sounds awful, but it's true. I know any time there is a movie based on a book, or maybe sometimes uh, other ways that, a, that it comes about, so many times the writers, when they see it, things have been changed and, and you know, the mm -hmm. original vision is lost. Were there any compromises you had to make between the book and the film? Well, you make enormous alterations. Movies are very short. I mean, if a book is 300 pages and the words are from margin to margin, a screenplay maybe is 90 pages or 100 pages with all kinds of white space. So movies are very short when you write them. So you obviously, uh, you have to lose a great deal. And all the President's Men, for example, <coughs> everybody was very kind and thought we were being very faithful to the book, which we were, but the movie ended halfway through the book. In other words, there was all, and so you have to shorten and you have to truncate and you have to am make amalgamations and all kinds of stuff because the movie audience is very smart and they're very quick to be bored. And you have to keep your story rolling along. You have to stay ahead of them because they've seen so many movies on television and in the theaters. You have to try and keep them pleased. You have to try and stay. The minute they get, the minute you lose them in a movie, it's very hard to get them back. And you can tell when a movie audience is lost, and uh, they get lost at the same time in every every showing of the movie. If it's a movie that has flaws, that has damaging flaws, and once you've lost them, and they're gone, and then they'll just, you never get them back. It's not like a book where if you find a section that's dull, you can skip through, or you can put it down and pick it up tomorrow. A movie is the thing that takes place in a hundred minutes in the dark room, and then it's over, and you've got to, you've only got the one time to please them. And so, yes, it's much different, but it's still, you try and stay as faithful as you can to the material. You know, you don't want to put dancing girls in the material. Uh, Hollywood it up is the word they, you know, when they, when they mean cheapen something, they'll use the phrase, did they Hollywood it up? And I don't think we Hollywooded this one up. What was your original reason or inspiration for writing this book? I have two daughters now, 25 and 22, and when they were little, because the book was written in book was written in 72. When they were little, I asked them each, "What do you want? Me? I'll write you a children's story," which is not what the book turned out to be. And I said, "What do you want it to be about?" And one of them said, "Princesses," and one of them said, "Brides." So I said, "Okay, that'll be the title of Princess Bride." And so it began as a little thing for them, and then it turned into a novel for me. What do your daughters think about it then? Well, they didn't think very much of it when they, you know, they weren't much into hardcover reading when they were little, but I think now they've both read it and they're very pleased with it. And what did they think about the movie? Well, they really like the movie. They yeah. really do. Yeah. I mean, it's, I'm delighted. So what is the next thing for you then? I'm doing a, non I'm a sports nut, and I'm doing a nonfiction book on sports with a wonderful writer in New York named Mike Lupica, which will come out next year. And uh, it's a whole different, you know, I like occasionally writing nonfiction. And I do it every so often, and I'm, this is a time to do it. And so I'm, I had a couple of movies, and I probably will do another movie starting in the spring. 
Well, Bill, again, it's just delightful to have a chance to chat yeah. with you even for five minutes. Thank you very much. <laughs> and congratulations on The Princess Bride. I hope it gets the audience it deserves. It's Thank delightful you. entertainment. Great. Thank you very much. I hope you're right. Hold that. Okay. Just stand for a second. Bart. We'll turn the chair. And shoot me as widely as your as okay. space permits. Still rolling, Dennis? Yes. Okay, I'm just at the knees. Got some nice oh, okay, side. fine. Okay. I don't see the pad. And okay. Anytime. You have been quoted as saying of all the things you've written that this means more to you than anything. Why? What sorts of compromises did you make between the book and the movie? Do you like the movie? What was your original inspiration or reason for writing the book? Did your daughters like the book? What did they think about the movie? Now, let me just give you some silent reactions. Okay, thank you.